right now a WPBF 25 News special presentation. WPBF 25 News Chronicle. Algae crisis. State of emergency. We've never seen it this bad. Real health concerns. We now know it's toxic. Our way of life threatened. Stop polluting our paradise. Wildlife impacted. Businesses suffering. I had to let about half my staff go. I had to turn everyone away. You've got to be working on this 24-7. We hear you. Over the next hour, WPBF 25 News investigates the dangerous health implications. You don't know what's in that algae. The firestorm surrounding causes and solutions. We have an environmental catastrophe happening right now. It's an absolute embarrassment. And how the problem could affect more of our area. Covering acres. Hear from local leaders with significant stakes in the crisis. <laughs> and get your questions answered by experts. This is WPBF 25 News Chronicle. Algae crisis. Here are Felicia Rodriguez, Tiffany Kenny, and Todd McDermott. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us tonight. We know the algae crisis is an issue that is so important to our community, and we want to keep this conversation going. So tonight, for the next hour, we are bringing you the most important information on the toxic blue-green algae that's invading and contaminating our South Florida waterways. The Army Corps of Engineers is now scaling back flows from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River, but is it too late? Martin County officials have extended their state of emergency. This follows Governor Rick Scott declaring a state of emergency for Martin, Lee, St. Lucie, and Palm Beach counties last week. The concern is so great in the St. Lucie River, several beaches were forced to close during the busy holiday weekend. Now here's the very latest on the algae crisis. Governor Rick Scott announced he will propose additional funding in his 2017 budget to help clean the Indian River Lagoon and the Caloosahatchee River. Also, Florida Power and Light just agreed to take on and store billions of gallons of water from the lake each month to help stop the flow and the growth of that toxic algae. Right now, all beaches are open for swimming in Martin County. The no swim advisories were lifted yesterday after county officials say no blue green algae was found in the waterways. 